Så är vi äntligen framme i husbåtarnas stad. Srinagar omgiven av berg. Himlen på jorden, sägs det bara. Mm, och vi är här för, av en orsak. Det är att hitta Jesus graf. Mm, det kan ju låta lite märkligt. <laughs> Men det lär faktiskt att finnas här. Jag borde läst om det och hört en massa berättelser och rykten. Och inte bara Jesus graf utan också Åsnan, äh, Moder Maria, Josef Mos- och Moses. Moses. Och det hänger egentligen samman med det att Kashmirborna tror att de har judiskt påbrå. Det finns också lite vetenskapliga bevis som skulle understöra den här tanken. Mm. Men det här området är ändå helt muslimskt idag. Och de här muslimerna har rensat ganska kraftigt så sent som på 90-talet och skickat väg 400 000 hinduer ut i olika delar av Indien som flyktingar. Mm, och det här judiska påbrået vill ganska få muslimer höra talas om längre. Det gäller att följa de här ganska eh, skarpa muslimska reglerna och det gäller också för kvinnan. Mm, det är inte så lätt att vara kvinna i ett muslimskt samhälle men som tur så finns det de som går sin egen väg. Being a doctor is not uh, very easy uh, as a woman and a doctor. And uh, we, because we have to balance uh, both at home and at workplace. And, uh, but still, we do manage to do it our own way. Muslim men, they believe that they treat their women in the best possible manner as has been told in Quran and as, been, as has been told by the Prophet. But I'm really very sorry to say that they have not recognized or not realized or perhaps they don't want to realize the changing times and uh, the different needs of different times. So they have been so used to their conveniences and their monopolies that I think that nobody who, is, who has enjoyed a monopoly for such a long time and long centuries they just want it for themselves they realize that yes they know that women too are born with talents they have a right to pursue their ambitions to realize their talents but they're not ready to help them this is this is uh, something which has been happening not only in india but around the world I don't know whether there is any hope for them or not, but I do hope that somebody gets up and tells all those clergymen who have been holding us for ransom, you know, to stop doing it somewhere. I mean, that's the only solution because the general Muslim population listens to these clergymen. There are people who do object, not my being, not in my being, to my being a doctor as such, but uh, they do object the way I am. I am moving about without the parda. Not only the Muslim women, but even Hindu women are also in the, in the same trap. But there, there's a lot of awakening. There are. Um, years ahead of us as far as the attitudes of men are concerned about working women or their education. I I would never like to exchange my country for any other country. I love India. I am blessed to be Indian. Really. This is something which is coming from the heart and uh, every moment I feel when I look at women from other Muslim countries I feel that oh I am living in luxury. There is no balance at all because When people say Kashmir is a bad marriage to India, I don't even agree to that. I think it's forcible abduction and then sex and later not releasing. So it is that. So when it comes to forcible, it is there is no balance basically. When there are a million people on the streets asking for self-determination and the oppressing country doesn't give a heed to that and imposes curfews, 
that is the way it deals with militarily or economically. It doesn't deal with it administratively. There is no dialogue process. There is no balance, basically. Um, balance in India, I don't think India is a well-balanced country because as far as if you will consider religion, culture, it's not balanced at all. Uh, supposing you will see religion, you see whenever there is any terror attack in India, you see it's only Muslims who are being blamed for that, for the terror attacks. And even if the Indian police does not know who is after the attacks, you know, Muslims are always being tortured. As a Kashmiri, balance means love. Balance means right. Balance means freedom. Balance means a lot of things. Do you know the Rosebud Shrine? Jesus grave. Just direct to this place. Sir? The Jesus grave. Do you know what Jesus grave is? The grey or the rosebud? Left side. Left side. Left side. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Folks have a rosebud. I'm a church. I'm a church. I'm a guide. I'm a church. 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 Now we go in in the gamla stan, and there is a place called the Hania Rosebud. And there you can find a grave that is Muslim and called the Rosebud. Här är te om man skulle vilja ha te. Skulle du vilja ha en kopp te? Nej, jag tror inte. Nu har vi kommit fram till gamla stan där vart och varannat hus har gröna galor och grönt tak. Så här ska vi nog hitta graven någonstans. Någonstans. Men historien som vi har hört och som vi så att säga nu följer upp så det är den att det, det kom en man för ungefär 2000 år sedan till Kashmir. Från väst, något väst, västernland på en åsna och han hann precis bara över gränsen och så dog han. Den här mannen hette Jesus och han hade hål i händerna och hål i fötterna. that uh, when Jesus was crucified, after that, about uh, after uh, some two, three days, he was held from his grave by someone and with his feet wounded, with his hands wounded. And then he was, uh, he came here. Postos, Jesus, Lika. Kaska spinnande. The chins kaska special tikke. What about evidence? Is there some kind of evidence inside that it could be him? There is one evidence there that there are these foot imprints, and there are these small holes in these imprints. So this is the evidence that it might be Jesus, Jesus's foot imprints because he was wounded. Some Muslims don't even like when we ask about the Jesus grave. Why do you think that is? Um, it's uh, like another section of people believe that it's not the Jesus grave. What do you believe? I believe what I have been told by my father, my grandparents. I believe that this is Jesus grave. What I have heard. Lugnt och harmoniskt är det här uppe i bergen då vi har lämnat sommarhusstaden Srinagars dammiga gator. Vi har kommit till Gullmark och här ser naturen ut precis så där som man tänker sig att Kashmir ska se ut. Snöbeklädda toppar och det är lugnt och stilla. Mm. Här ska man kunna bygga någonting riktigt balanserat och harmoniskt och ekologiskt. Ja men det funkar inte för Nä. det är Kashmir. Och här så lever människorna i ständig skräck för den här terrorbalansen med Pakistan. Mm. Men det finns ett ställe i Indien. Tvärs genom landet måste man åka för att komma dit och där har man bytt ett modellsamhälle. Mm, och de påstår sig leva i harmoni både med sig själva och med naturen.